Welcome to Sugar Bees Academy. I'm your resident VP, Hasina Taylor, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be looking at seven ways to stay mentally healthy during the holidays. So grab your pen and a piece of paper and find yourself that comfy spot. And let's dive into what's the buzz. Number one. If you don't have an abundance of family or friends this holiday, invite your neighbors or friends from work. Holidays are often the time when people come together to celebrate and spend time with one another. And maintaining connections with loved ones can help to provide emotional support and a sense of belonging. But sometimes getting together with our family doesn't always happen. So invite a coworker or your neighbor over and build and foster those relationships with them because you'll still get the joy of the Christmas holiday and maintain a sense of connection and continuity. Number two, connect with your community, attend diverse cultural events, or volunteer your time at a local soup kitchen. Participate in a holiday charity event. Many organizations host holiday themed charity events such as toy drives or food drives to help those in need. Participating in one of these events is a great way to give back to your community and make a positive impact. Number three, celebrate online with long distance friends or relatives. Host a virtual holiday party. Use a video conferencing tool such as Zoom, Skype, or Google Meet to invite your long distance friends or relatives to a virtual holiday party. You could play games, share holiday traditions, or just catch up with one another. Number four, do something special for yourself, like ordering in your favorite meal or doing your favorite activity. Treat yourself to something you enjoy, whether it's a new piece of clothing, a favorite food, or a special experience. Taking the time to treat yourself can be a great way to show yourself some love. Number five, plan ahead for how long you want to stay at a gathering, giving yourself permission to leave early if you want. It's important to give yourself permission to leave an event earlier. You must prioritize your own well-being and listen to your needs. If you are feeling overwhelmed, drained, or just need some time to yourself, it's okay to leave a gathering earlier in order to take care of your needs. Number six. So just a potluck instead of hosting and providing the entire meal for the holidays. Potlucks allow everyone to participate and contribute regardless of their cooking skills, dietary needs, or financial resources. This can create a sense of inclusivity and community and make the holiday celebration more meaningful for all. Number seven. Remind yourself that the holidays are not about just buying, but more so about self-reflection, giving, and spending quality time with others. Make an effort to spend quality time with friends and loved ones during the holidays, whether through gift giving, volunteering, or simply spending time together. And don't forget about your own personal self-reflection, as this is the time of year to look back on what you've done, what you've accomplished, and set new goals for yourself for the future. Thanks for stopping by my page. I do hope you found the information very helpful and interesting today. And please remember to like and share this video with someone you feel could benefit from this information we talked about today. And don't forget to set that notification bell to stay updated on any or new drops that get posted to the Sugar Bees Academy page. Till then, I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.